listed April 3rd, sold on June 3rd, 25% off for $224.99. Noelle, I would not have laughed at that. I probably would have sold that on whatnot starting at $5. <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, let's talk about some Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And a huge shout out to everybody that shared their Bolos. And those of you that wait for Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle to share, she shared. Oh, just wait. Just wait. That girl is a bolo finder. Let's see what she sold, but you're going to have to wait until the end of the video because I got a whole bunch more to show you first. Uh, this here is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. You can go over under the featured announcements section and look for the share post. Share your bolo with the information. Shout out your social media and selling platforms, all that good stuff. If you mention it in the comment, I will mention it in the video. It's a great way to get exposure for your social media and selling platforms. This one here comes from Nina's Jewels, who has a YouTube channel and also sells on eBay and whatnot. She is fabulous, finds really awesome stuff. So make sure you're checking her out so that you can learn about other things to be on the lookout for. Sold for full price. We picked up several Saxon math books at a garage sale and have sold three sets so far, paid a dollar per book. And this is what it looks like. These are homeschooling items. Make sure you put homeschool in the title. Definitely a bolo. Things you can usually get at garage sales cheap that people pass by. So definitely be on the lookout. The next one are these Salvatore Ferragamo cufflinks. And I actually sold these on whatnot to, um, Lisey DC and Lisey DC also sells on whatnot, but she does art shows where she teaches you how to craft and it is super, super cool. So definitely make sure you follow her. Uh, she does like demonstration shows and she said, always check out Cufflink. She said, I love sourcing on whatnot. It has a little bit of everything. It saves gas and time and I can do it in my jammies. Bought this pair of Ferragamo Cufflinks, $5 from Bolo's D Bolo Buddies, me, detangling show. Check her out for a quick flip on eBay. Took an offer for 99 in just a couple days and the buyer paid shipping. And, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, do you know what that was? That was list perfectly delisting my item for me. What? <laughs> okay, guys, so let's take a little pause because that was totally rad. I haven't been on my computer when something sold um, that I have cross posted. So I was on list perfectly and I was on the business plan and I would start on eBay and I would cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Well, I have completely changed how I'm doing things. I upgraded to the pro plan and opted in to the pro plus plan. And it has the D-list feature, feature. It has the listing assistant, which I did a whole video on. You got to watch it. It changes. It'll change your reselling life. Okay. It, it does the work for you. And then I use it also still as my cross posting, but I'm listing into the catalog now. So I've completely changed things up. I'll link those videos down below so you guys can check it out. I'm also refreshing my entire eBay store, getting all of it into the List Perfectly catalog. Big changes coming to Bolo Buddies. Check out those videos. Absolutely incredible. If you watch them, the videos, and you think List Perfectly is a good fit for you, uh, coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, will get you 30% off your first month. Now, I have been using List Perfectly since 2019. And I am just now upgrading to the pro plan. Now, why am I doing it? Because all of these fabulous upgrades, but the D-list feature, did you just see what happened? It sold and then it takes it off of Mercari and Poshmark. Bam, does it for me. And did you see how my screen did that? <laughs> that was so cool. All right, you guys. And then also whatnot, let's talk about whatnot. I have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join with my referral link. 
as Lisey DC said, I do untanglings and you guys can pick up some goodies from me and you can flip them for a profit. You ask, why am I doing this? Why am I selling things so cheap on whatnot? Because you all know that I am a full-time reseller and I have always said, list it and forget it and price it high on eBay. And I still say that. That's still what I do on the platforms. Now, whatnot is different. It is auction style. So I start everything at $5 or less. I'm typically doing an untangling. And a lot of times things will get bid up, but a lot of times things go for 3 to $5, which is great for resellers, great for people that watch me. So many of you have come over and bought from me and are reselling the items. So, um, and that's fine with me. I am happy that you guys are getting good deals and making money. So, and I love it when you share like this. I'm like, yes, cha-ching. And I'm super excited for her. I'm not mad about it. But somebody in the comments was like, why would somebody sell this for $5 when it's worth 100 Because I don't have time to research all this jewelry. Jewelry for me is hard because you have to really look it up. You have to figure out comps. And I don't have that kind of time, um, especially when I'm doing four and five shows on whatnot a week. So um, come get your deals. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you at a show. Plus, it's very social and fun. We drink coffee and we laugh and have a good time. And it's a live show. So even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. Grab that referral link. Get your $15 to shop. Go buy a hat from Seems So Vintage. She makes these. It's a great time. So I'll see you over there. And check out those List Perfectly videos because the updates are going to knock your socks off. All right, let's keep going here. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent, but that was so exciting. Um, this is a Charming Tales, and I have sold the Charming Tales before. Now, they range from bread and butter to big money. They are not all big money. Uh, let's see. This one is a Charming Tales. I have sold these before. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money. Definitely look them up if you see them. Purchased this at a Goodwill for $3, found it in its original box. It was just too cute not to buy. Listed for $125, sold for a best offer of $112 plus shipping. We had the item in inventory for at least four months. My sister and I sell on eBay part-time to Seagal Shop. Oh, that's such a cute name. We've sold other great bolos, but this is our first post. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and I hope you'll come back and share more bolos because this is one that I think a lot of people would pass by. The next item is this Sony camera. It's a digital camera. And somebody in another video was selling digital cameras, but they're different than this. So make sure you check out the other videos because you're going to be surprised at what these digital cameras are selling for. Paid 20 for this camera at a flea market. Uh, sold for $80.99. I love picking up old cameras and flipping them for a profit. Yeah. This one's a floppy disk. So this one is older. The ones in the other video are newer. So digital cameras, look them up. This is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren black watch weekender duffel bag tartan leather canvas. I sold this vintage Polo Ralph Lauren duffel bag for $220, paid $2 for it at a church sale. It may have gone for more, but it had a bit of wear. I bought some Supreme hats at the same sale as well and totally forgot I had left it in the duffel bag. Good thing I opened it up before shipping. <laughs> Vision FXX. So they put some stuff um, in the in the bag. You guys, vintage Ralph Lauren can be a big money bolo. If you see vintage Ralph Lauren, look it up. Some of it can go for hundreds to even thousands of dollars. I think I have a video on Ralph Lauren big money bolos. Uh, the skein, the bears. If you see skein or bears that are vintage, look those up. This is a rare vintage Mickey Mouse NASA Mickey Mouse cookie jar. Hello, I found this beautiful Mickey Mouse cookie jar at a Goodwill. It was half off day. I paid $18 for it and it sold for $200. I could not find any comps on this cookie jar. I knew I had something special with it. I love your videos and your whatnot shows. You have learned so much this past year watching you. Thank you, Janie. My store is... Sandy Squirrel Consignment. Okay, so she's saying I have learned so much because I know nothing about jewelry. I'm horrible. And that's why I like bringing my jewelry to whatnot. I already told you guys that. But I am learning. But I still start my items at $5 or less. There are times when I'm like, I hold up an item and I'm like, 
I'm going to hold my breath on this one because I know it's a really good item and I'm afraid it's going to go for $5. <laughs> so um, definitely come over to whatnot. This one, it says, um, I sold this just recently for full asking price of 80 plus shipping. Got it for free at an estate sale. If you see in my description, I did not even include the word real life or realistic uh, stuffed animal toy. It's definitely a bolo considering it was free. And this one comes from Blue Moon 74 and she sells on Whatnot also. I'm getting to meet so many of you in the Whatnot community. If you sell on Whatnot, go ahead and drop your Whatnot name down in the comments and everybody can follow everyone. This is a Ditz Designs Lamb Mom and Baby Sheep plush stuffed animal laying down and 74, what'd she say? $80. She got full asking price for it. And she also sells jewelry on whatnot. Blue Moon 74. Look her up, guys. This is a Princess and the Frog Tiana. Is it Tiana? Disney mini backpack by Lounge Fly. Lounge Fly is um, a lot of times can be a bolo. If you see the backpacks that say that, look them up. This is a mini. Bought three different kinds of these lounge fly backpacks from the Goodwill months ago. Paid 15, which is a lot for me. It took a little while to sell them. Kept lowering the prices. This is the second one to sell. Just happy I, I'm finally getting them moving out of my inventory. eBay store Jolly's Fashion Emporium and Amrakari. Uh, same thing. More pictures below in the comments. $39.74. So I will say this is a brand that definitely... Um, it depends on the item, but if you see the brand, look it up because I sold one that wasn't in very good condition and it did really well. So this is a 2010 National Champs Auburn U University Tigers DVD set, missing one DVD, missing parts, still sold. Bought this 2010 Auburn DVD set at a yard sale, probably around $2, took a $40 offer and it was missing one disc. Put that in the description, eBay store name, Jolly Fashion Emporium. All right. This one here, she said, let's see. I had two fun sales. Number one came from a local online estate sale. I bid six on a lot with six items, so a dollar each. When I went to pick up my purchase, I flipped over the cross and saw the James Avery Mark. Turns out it was from a retired collection. I put it on auction and sold it for $207.50. I also sold a set of candle holders in the box for $30. So my $6 was well spent. Number two wasn't as much money, but was still fun. I found a deflated football at the Goodwill on half price day for $0.49. Cents. Deflated. Love it. Cleaned it up, aired it up, and discovered there's a real market for these footballs. Sold it for $40. Some are selling for much higher. So keep your eye out for one. Okay. So vintage footballs and James Avery would cross. And I've heard of James Avery. It's, um, I think it's a Bolo brand. So if you see James Avery, definitely look it up and footballs. Who knew? Who knew football gloves also. And that comes from the rock house. All right, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She is going to hit us up with some bolos, and she's always got some good ones. They're either unexpected or big money, and sure to knock your socks off, her bolos. She said, just an unassuming little white bowl, or is it? These were mine. I didn't really use them, so I thought I'd look them up. Wowza. Listed on the 24th, took a best offer for both on the 28th. Best offer of $75 for both, and they were all in for $93.48 for two of them. These plain white bowls are pretty sought after. Please, people, I beg of you to use replacements LTD and find out what you have and list your items appropriately. Their site is free. Follow me in all the places for more tips and tricks. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Friendship by Roseville, Ohio. Yes, Roseville, Ohio is um, some of their stuff does good. So definitely check it out. All right, let's see what she's got next. Check this out. I love it. Okay. All you Gen Xers out there, remember these? This is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who is on YouTube. You guys definitely want to check her out because she is a bolo finder and she has a memory to like, she finds things over and over because she remembers everything. Uh, let's see. These would come in the mail and then you could spend hours going through all the little stamps and find your favorite movies, records, or magazines. 
Well, they are vintage stickers and guess what? They sell. Who knew? Me. Buy the weird stuff and sell it. Actually, these were free. Vintage 1995 Columbia House VHS Movie Club Stamp Sheet. Complete 253 unused, hard to find. Listed super high because why not? Took a best offer of 35. All in, they paid 4208. Listed April 18th and sold June 20th. I have a video on stickers as does Courtney. So why aren't you selling stickers? <laughs> <laughs> she will call you out too. All right. So she listed these high, took a best offer, but what on earth would you have listed this or would you have walked right past it? Pretty cool bolo, right? The next item is this Nintendo Game Boy, which I'm guessing most of you would pick up. Uh, this one is a Game Boy Advance and it looks like it's got Pokemon Gold Mega Man. So some different games here. Probably one of the most laughable listings of all time. You are just going to have to open it up and read it. Trust me, you will giggle. Needless to say, honestly, honesty is the best policy. And trust me, I was beyond honest in this one. Just ask the dog. My cost of goods as this was my kids' grandkids listed on June 2nd, sold on June 20th for 20% 20 off sale of $135.99. They were all in for $151.30. Oh my goodness. Do you guys want to see what Noel wrote? Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, always honest, right? Let's see what she wrote. Okay, I got to see. Where did she write it? Um, okay. Vintage and secondhand items may have flaws. Let's see, is this, let's see, where? Okay, turns out graphics and sound work. The case is tortured to say the least. This went through both my kids and two grandkids and we are done. For whatever re reason, the games quit loading. I'm not messing with it anymore and I know there is value here. No, I do not want to separate. Run the comps on each piece and figure it out for yourself. I know the value, so please don't lowball me. <laughs> Noel, you're crazy. Uh, Mega Man looks like the old saying, my dog ate my homework. The case is chewed. Laugh out loud. I don't think I can be any more honest here. So look at all the photos as shown. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like I said, Noelle is very, very honest <laughs> for parts not working. There you go. Chewed by the dog, Mega Man. That is hilarious. So she's selling this for parts. All right. There you have it. Okay. But it still went for $135.99. I can't believe she wrote that. I, you guys, I don't know if I recommend writing that in your description. <laughs> but she did it and it's a bolo and she was honest. She is honest. A um, lot of 15 vintage antenna ball toppers. So these go on your car, on the antenna. How funny. A um, lot of 15 vintage antenna ball toppers. Smiley face, pirate gesture, hippie girl, sun. Purchased on the last day of an estate sale, paid $7.50 for all of them, threw them in a ba big lot, priced them high, and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. Um, I know I could have made more by listing them separately, but it would have taken a long time. Keep your eyes open for these. Some bring really good money. These did. There you have it, guys. Antenna things. Would you have walked past them? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me with the hair? Those are so cute. So cute. Would you have left them behind or picked them up? Let me know down in the comments. And would you have paid $50 for them? Ooh. All right. These are vintage Calico 1983 original um, CPK hang tags. So these are for Cabbage Patch Kids. And I have sold a single one before. But she had five and she put them together. She said, ditch the Cabbage Patch dolls and sell the accessories and clothing. <laughs> what the what? Courtney, what the what? Vintage lot of five Calico 1983 uh, paper hang tags, free to me. They paid $31.99 and a 20% off sale. They were all in for $40.43. For paper hang tags, you guys, soak that up. Listed on May 24th, sold on June 12th. There you have it. Noelle is so funny. She will tell you guys, watch her YouTube channel. You'll learn a bunch. She is incredible. And wait until you see her last bolo because... She rubs it in all the time. And if you've watched me for a while, I've talked about it before because she's always like, you need to sell this. You need to sell this. Does anybody know what the item is? Put it in the comments if you know what the item is because I always talk about it. And I'm always like, I don't want to pick that up. It's boring. All right, here we go. Um, this is not the item. You have to wait 
it's the last one she shares. For Hea, H-E-A, I don't know what that is. 1368, vintage 1990s Sunstar Walt Disney Company model erasers. What? They're erasers? Oh my goodness, they're so cute. She finds the best stuff. Uh, story time. Imagine that. Noelle with a story. That never happens. Made in Japan. Sunstar. I love made in Japan. All right, here we go. So I've had these since 2019. I purchased a large amount of them from a Disney collector's estate sale. I finally started getting some of it listed and these babies were almost impossible to find. Some obscure Japanese website had them and at zero dark 30 in the morning, I finally found them. Put them on auction, had a lot of views, but no bites. So listed them separately. I got a message from a buyer in New Zealand that wanted to purchase them and I made this listing just for them. Um, the, that's the weird title. Oh, okay. H-E-A 1386 is probably who bought it. Okay. I'm like, what does that mean? Now we know. And look at the writing down here, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, vintage 1990s Sunstar Walt Disney Company model erasers, a lot of five. These have been paid for for years and I probably paid pennies for them in the first place. They paid $139.99 and we're all in for $169.21 with shipping. So a little piece of advice here, never give combined orders for something like this. Make a whole new listing. These were promoted, they were on sale and they were going international. When I made the new listing, no promoted fees, no sale and a smaller shipping total. A win-win for the buyer and the seller. Follow me in all the places if you want. So what she's saying is, if the person would have bundled individually, especially being an international sale, it would have uh, changed all of that stuff. So she created a bundle listing for them, probably by request. This is an, a vintage Olympic trails backpack, red, white, and blue patriotic aluminum frame hiking. And I just nailed the word aluminum. I really struggle with that word. But when I think about it, I can usually do it. It's just one of those words. Uh, vintage Olympic trails backpack free to her in a storage unit clean out listed for almost a year, but Hey, I can be patient listed very high due to the colors and it paid off sold for $196 and 87 cents. They were all in for 256 78. So Noelle and I have a very similar listing strategy. We listed high and we rate for the right buyers. Um, and we also accept lower offers and send out offers. So you will hear Noelle say that as well. This is a antique Victorian art nouveau. Did I say that right? Nouveau, right? I used to say Nueve. <laughs> so yes, it's art nouveau. Ladies, two-piece ornate enamel and brass belt buckle. Man, I just laugh at myself. So I did a video the other day and apparently my whole life, I have said Star Trek, and I guess it's Star Trek. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was how it was spelled, but I always pronounced it track. I don't know. I guess probably because I didn't watch it, so I didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, somebody called me out in the comments, and I just laughed. So now I'm going to share that with you so you can laugh too. And nouveau is another word that I didn't know. Ladies, two-piece ornate enamel and brass belt buckle. This thing is beat up and it was free. Don't even remember, remember where I got it, to be honest. Pretty sure most of you would have just looked at this, laughed. Well, I'm not laughing all the way to the bank. Listed April 3rd, sold on June 3rd, 25% off for $224.99. Noel, I would not have laughed at that. I probably would have sold that on whatnot starting at $5. <laughs> and you probably would have bought it. Anyway, um, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, but you know, keywords, she knows the keywords. I would totally struggle with that. So I would just bring it to whatnot, start it at $5 and hold my breath. It's only 15 seconds guys. And I don't really hold my breath the whole time. So don't worry. I'll be okay. This is the one. It's a Tupperware. She always says sell Tupperware. And if you want to know about Tupperware, she has a whole video Talking about Bolo Tupperware items. She knows a lot about it. Now, is this huge money? No, but you can pick these things up pretty much everywhere. Super cheap. And last but not least, you guessed it, Tupperware. Vintage Tupperware mini canister keychain. Blue Hong Kong may paid maybe 10 cents in a large bulk buy it in a state sale. Listed on May 28th and sold on June 11th for a 
sale price 20% off of $21.59, all in $28.81 with shipping. Pretty sure if you go search highest sold, you will see this. Quit selling your Tupperware for cheap, people. <laughs> She's so bossy. Okay, people call me bossy bolo. Noelle is way more bossy, but she deserves to be bossy because she knows her stuff. She said, stop selling your Tupperware so cheap. Some they don't make, or she said, they don't make this stuff anymore, the vintage stuff. So if you list it high and wait for the right buyer, you keep prices of things up, keep the market high, and then you list it and forget it and sell it for big money. Now, is $21 big money? Uh, to me, 10 cents into $21 for a little Tupperware keychain? Uh, yes, that's a bolo all day long for me. What do you consider a bolo? What is your defi definition of a bolo? And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And go check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle because she just shared so much information. She is only supposed to do three, but she always does more. And I always love her bolos because they're always weird and different and things that I would not expect. And sometimes things that I wouldn't pick up because I don't want to deal with them. So she has really, really great uh, videos on her channel. So check her out. Also on Instagram. All right. Enough about Noelle. <laughs> Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. All right. Here we go, guys. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I did not mean to do that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.